home for me now is uh, LA on the west coast and so when I was planning my uh, race schedule I uh, looked at the, the race in North Carolina and thought wow well, on my way home I guess I could fit in another race uh, I'd never I'd never been to the Midwest I'd spent a lot of time on the west coast and I've spent a lot of time on the east coast but never any any anywhere in between and so uh, I thought I'd you know stop off get a quick quick race in and then head home so uh, that's what brings me here yeah uh, Vegas is my uh, a race of the year um, I've raced there uh, both yeah last year and the year before um, finished yeah top 10 uh, in 20. 2011 and so really looking forward to uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in the best shape I've been so far this year and uh, I'm really looking forward to getting to, co to, to Vegas and uh, being a real contender yeah I mean I don't make a, a habit of racing like back-to-back -back weekends um, but it's certainly something I experimented with uh, last season and found actually that the second race of the two was the stronger race and um, I think your, your, your body and mind are well primed for, for the second race. You're, you know, you're ready to go. When that gun goes, you're ready to go. And, uh, and you, as long as you know that you're going, going to go and do those one, two races back to back, you treat the first, you, you, and you go into the first race with the right mindset, and you recover really well. I think that it's all about the recovery between the two races. And uh, you've really got to... Um, not not stress too much if you you're not feeling great or weak between the first and second race and uh, yeah just just focus on on what you're doing and uh, on your training your recovery good nutrition good sleep uh, and yeah I'm surprised at how good I feel today I hope I feel this good tomorrow and I'll, I'll be okay. <laughs>